Hello everybody and welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews Friday Night Beer Review. So it's Friday night, so let's have a nice beer and get ready for this weekend, shall we? And as you know, uh, Tuesday, right, we got over hump day, now it's Tuesday. I do tea reviews, right, we're lax with a nice tea. <coughs> um, Wednesday, I do Wednesday whiskey, but I do any uh, all types of distilled spirits on Wednesday, all right, that's actually hump day. Friday, we do our beer because we're getting into the mood. Saturday, I do wine, and Sunday, I do my wonderful, relaxing Sunday morning coffee reviews. So there's something for everybody here. Now, today, Lazy, right? Lazy Magnolia, um, Mississippi Brewery, Jeff Stout Sweet Potato Cream Stout. Um, let me see here. Jefferson Stout Lazy Magnolia's original sweet potato cream stout and our version of the ideal sweet southern stout is brewed with roasted southern grown sweet potatoes and lactose milk sugar. The sweet potatoes provide the background to an impressive taste with added notes of, well, roasted caramel, coffee, and uh, or roasted chocolate, coffee, and caramel flavors. Hmm. And they suggest that it goes with this is raw oysters, ice cream, or chocolate cake. Well, see how the hell you can beat that. So, let's do this. Let's do this, folks. Is this a twist off? Let me see. No. It's okay. I have something. It's okay. I have something, folks. All right. Ooh, nice and dark. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's almost black, and the head's brown. It's not even tan. It looks kind of tan. I'm looking at my camera here, but uh, if you look at it, it's more of a brown. Very nice. Brown head, brownish tan, with a black body. So, brewed with sweet potatoes. Oh, that's got a wonderful smell. I'll tell you what it smells like. It smells like baking chocolate. Uh, what I put in my coffee a lot. Just baking chocolate, man. Nice. Something else. I don't know if that's a sweet potato. I don't know. There's an odd smell with that chocolate. Very strong smell of chocolate. A little bit of, uh, yeah, a little bit of coffee. Hmm, very pleasing. That chocolate and that undertone of coffee and that sweet potato, whatever that is. Um, Nice, nice. You know, I've never had a uh, beer brewed with sweet potato, so let's see what see what we got going on. Did I say what the? Yeah, I said the ABV. If not, it'll be in the description. Okay, so we have right in front the roasty, i.e., cooked burnt type taste. Um, strong, now that I'm talking just now, hit me of coffee, real strong on the tongue now, after I swallow, just a real coffee taste, um, I guess that lactose and the sweet potato, it's got a real creamy mouth feel, it's got the taste of chocolate, but I think the coffee's, now in the smell, the chocolate was, was, very strong, but on the taste, it's more of a coffee. There's a creaminess. There is chocolate there. Do I taste the sweet potato? No. It's a little, um, you know, sweetish because of the uh, lactose. I guess that helped the mouth feel. And I guess you're getting some, um, you know. 
and I'm not trying to be funny here, folks, but you know, you, there's sweet potato in here, so that's adding some type of nutrients to this, okay? Drinking too much is very bad for you, but drinking a little bit is very good for you. So now you're getting all the benefits of normal beer, and you're getting uh, some of the benefits from the sweet potato. In moderation, very good. In excess, very bad. Okay, opposite results. One's very good for you, one's very bad for you. See, I like to have a beverage uh, every night. So on my whiskey reviews, I'll have a shot, and I'll review it. On my beer reviews, I'll have a beer. And on my wine reviews, I'll have a glass of wine. And the coffee and tea is, is, is different. Now, you can have up to two a day for a man, one a day for one. I'm not a doctor, right? But uh, I'm just stressing, really, uh, I hate to say anybody to turn something healthy into something unhealthy. So enjoy it. It's good for you, you know, in the proper amounts. That being said, I think the sweet potato adds to the healthiness of beer, which is already healthy. Oh. I'm seeing as it warms up, if any other flavors come out. So like I said, it's creamy. It's, after you get, the second you get done, swallow it, a little bit, just a second later, on the finish, you get a strong coffee taste. It's got a roasted, a burnt, a cooked taste to it when you first drink it. And underlying all that is a rich chocolate. And that's all I taste. Now if there's sweet potato in here, well I know there's sweet potato in here. I'm not tasting it. it. smelled different. I think I smelled that, but it's not coming through on the taste. It's pleasant. As uh, I always say, I would like to have this on tap. Because things always taste better on tap. Mmm. I just drank it. Of course, my nose is in there. Now it's going down. I'm smelling the chocolate. It's got a hell of a smell of chocolate. It doesn't come through as much, though. It's kind of hot. Boy, it's, boy, it sure smells. do what you don't normally do with beer and you fool around with it in your mouth and you chew it and you let some air in you will taste more of the chocolate but when I drink beer I tend to you know take big gulps and put it down the hatch anyway I let you know what I think about it okay glass is empty it was good so um, you know it, 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 it it's what I said so if, if that sounds something it was a um, uh, by the way uh, there's no bitterness from the um, many hops or anything okay I think the bitterness just comes from the the roasting uh, it's very it's you know obviously it's malty okay so <clears throat> if you like malt forward um, stouts with the chocolate and the coffee and the, uh, the cooked type taste and this one's very creamy and um, you may taste sweet potatoes or something different I don't know everybody's different um, maybe depending on different um, Temperatures, uh, how that comes out. It has um, a little, a little sweetness to it because of the, uh, the uh, lactose. So um, overall, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this beer. So I hope it's something different. It's something different to me, and I hope it's something different to you. And maybe you search it out or if you see it, uh, give it a shot. It's a very rich and, and uh, full flavored beer. So from Hillbilly Select Reviews, all right, Friday night beer. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody.